I better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind. Encyclopedia cannot be equipped. Behavior. Much information on their lives and origin of their greatness. Political essay and training for full time ability. Exercise of power. Not sure what I'm supposed to do there. What? What's this? What is this? Looks like a writing tablet. Writing material. Writing material, yes. It's referring to the book beside it, but. From what I see, no ink's ever been used on this quill. The smell reminds me of something. It smells like linen. That's odd. Clean. Okay, we'll, we'll take a look at another room. See what you can have. Ah, yep, yep, yep. No, we already know what the painting is going on. We're gonna clear this room out before we go anywhere else. Is this all my luggage or is this my mother's luggage? Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve... Oh, we already heard what that bullshit was. I haven't even had time to unpack my oh, cases. that's just mine. Never mind. Never mind. Not time for bed yet. What are you doing? Did you really just go to bed without searching even the case? Nothing. Really? I don't need the painting. No, don't need that. Don't need to go outside yet. o'clock in the morning, really? Hello? Clues for mother? Where's my clues for mother? What's this? There's a circle around the lock here. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. What key? I have a key? Oh, what's this? Treasure? Or is that an urn? What? What is this? There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richet to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. Um, oh yeah? All right. I've retrieved everything. Royal jelly. Amber. I want that book up there. Mm, how am I gonna get that book? Uh, really? Oh, shit. Oh, this bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. What is it? A Voyage Around the World, the travel log of the explorer, Louis Antoine de Bougainville. One of Mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. Yeah, well, it's a clue, dummy. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, Mother? Found it. A faint sign of the order, barely visible. Mother. You undoubtedly must have hidden Mother. a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. What? A symbol. Hmm. The paper's rougher around the writing. The paper's moist here. Very light stain, barely visible. And the smell reminds me of something. Come on, Louis, think. Think. 
more lemon. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. Mm -hmm. She must have left something behind. But she applied a liquid to the book. She must have used the writing materials. The quill has been used, but not with regular ink. A message using invisible ink. I bet she used a limit to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message? on the floor first. Okay. More coin. Hmm. Nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice strong coffee though. Okay, we'll go back and look at the quill then. And whatnot. Oh now we have the candlestick which is highlighted. Then it wasn't highlighted before. on the floor eh, oh. just a bit worn out I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage well, yeah probably look markings on the floor eh, just a bit worn out I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage what's this thing there? Inferno by Dante. Mm. Abandon hope, oh. all ye who enter here. Yeah, Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Yes, Very we jolly. So we'll use the ashes. Hmm? Damn, ashes. I'm making a serious mess here. It's no good. It might have worked if the writing had left marks in the paper, but no. There's only traces of lemon. Luckily, I've only put ash on part of the message. Uh, excuse me? Aha! It's working! The heat reveals the message. Let's see what my mother wrote. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. <laughs> and judging by the number of paintings in the manor, it could be anywhere. Uh, Damn! The message continues, but thanks to me, the rest of the text is unreadable. Yeah, way to go, Great. dummy. I hope it wasn't a unique addition or mother's gonna kill me. Now I better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Sir, dinner is served in the Red Salon. Typical. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Oh, well, I guess I'm just going to have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. Be there in a damn minute. Don't you want my mother's missing? She's looking for my mother? Why? I want to talk to my mother. Oh yeah, wait, um, do this. There we go, oh yeah. What's out here? 
We're looking for clues for who the hell is the rest of us. You're not Medusa. Hey, motherfuckers. I can't do that. Alright. Let's do a quick sweep really, really fast. Really fast sweep. We'll go have dinner with the guests, I suppose. Like I'm sure. My, my mother's missing, but no, no, we want you to come for dinner. Come for dinner. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, that, it, that, that really makes a whole lot of sense. Your mother's missing. Come for dinner. Don't search for clues or try to find her. No. Just sit down. Everything will be fine. <laughs> yeah. I get a chance. I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. Well, why don't we just do that right now? Oh, we're not going to mess with the cardinal room. We're not going to mess with Bonaparte's room here. Because I bet you that guy would have traps set up that he would know somebody was snooping around in his room. You want to bet? I bet you. I bet you. What? I thought the stairs was just like right around from my room. I just completely going and dance. That's the door to Elizabeth's room? Yeah. And then we'll go downstairs. What? Why won't you let me go downstairs? Really? You have to go down the proper stairs. I'm just searching for a little more clues before I go back downstairs. I was hoping there might be something else. Oh, coin. Coin? Oh, half circle shaped key. What? Is that... I wonder if that was for the chest in my room. That must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. What is that sound? It's like somebody's sweeping a floor. What? Might be better to take a different stairway. Really? What are you doing here? I don't trust you at all, sir. I think that part of the floor is clean, sir. It might be better to take a different stairway. Just keep sweeping and cleaning the same place. Huh? Oh, you... Well, we'll go downstairs. What, room is this? Uh, what, what room did I For just God's enter? sakes, what happened in here? What? Uh, um, um, um. Um, um, 
somebody needs to be notified about that, like right now, there's satanic symbols all over the floor. And I think, what? I'm gonna find different stairs, but you will let me go down any set of stairs. Satanic sim. What? 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 Let me adapt. Let me out. out. Oh, she looks Excuse like me, what? Monsieur de Richet. Yeah. I really need to talk to you. Well, hello. You're Elizabeth Abbott. Yes. I regret that we haven't been properly introduced. Uh, yeah. Okay. Nothing. Okay. You're her son. Sarah de Richet's son. Yes. Why? Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? Uh. My mother came here to do business with Lord Mortimer, but she seems to have gone missing. So I'm here to find her. I know your mother very well. Uh, excuse me? Really? Yes. I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you. Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No, I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her what? sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. What? I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh, she's getting more and more agitated. And next, you're going to tell me my mother's also responsible for that scar on your head? My heart stopped twice during the operation. I lost my memory for six months. You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait. There must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, I've... I've got to go. Wait. I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? Oh, are we ready? Uh, yeah, let's try a soft probe. We'll just, we'll just, no, we're gonna use our brain. Elizabeth. Use her brain. Conf oh, she's immunity. Fighting in me might ease your burden. Let me relieve you of some of your suffering. Relieve me? Do you even hear yourself? Do you really think that by confiding in my torturer's son, I will be healed as if by magic? Oops. That it will bring my smile back or let me sleep at night? Look, you don't seem like a bad person. And I'm sorry you have to find out your mother's true colors like this. But I'm not going to pity you. Everybody has their cross to bear. Okay. I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? I, I don't know anything about... What about her dad? Take your father. I'm sure he tried everything to save you. Sure, he tried everything. To keep me from upsetting his political affairs. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, Once I was declared right. insane, I was nothing but a burden that got in the way of his career. By leaving me with your mother, he made all the horrors possible. You know what? I've got nothing more to say to you. Yeah, exactly. Figure I'm, it out yourself. I'm not talking to you no more either, woman. You're just, you're just broken. I'm not going to bother with you. Uh... Duchess, wasn't that the same dress you were wearing before, when you first got on the island? I don't know, that was a red one. Well, that, that didn't go over very well at all. Hmm? Did it, sir? Did it, so did you hear any of that conversation, sir? Hmm? Wow. Wow. 
I don't even know where I'm supposed to go now. She all got me all damn, damn flustered being all in my face and shit. Well, we're not talking to you yet. I'll slurp that up, thank you. Oops. Don't remember what which is which. Golden, oh. Ah, there we go. Oops. And then, what was this other thing? Oh yeah, okay. So you have Mortimer's invitation. <sighs> Hello, where am I supposed to go for breakfast? The Red Salon. Where's the red salon, dude? Um, dude, where's the red salon? What can I do for you, sir? Where's the red salon? I am at your service, day and night, sir. Um. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Tell me where the red room is. Red salon, where's the red salon? This one? No. No one there. Oh, is it through the big doors? Wait, wait, what, what, what? Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Yeah, let's take a look for Medusa too. Where is Medusa? I don't know where Medusa is. This way. The red salon. Ah, here we go. Dear friends, Hello. I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Thank you again for the wine, your eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted. My friend. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear yes. Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris <laughs> than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Is the wine to your liking? 
Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically oh French. The Soudan, oh, yeah. so isn't it? Good, Absolutely. Isn't it? If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favourite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I've taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule, but I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry, I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The mm. finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. <laughs> would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mention that orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. <laughs> Is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. Mm. <laughs> My lord, I only know the prestige of your name. Might I have the honor of getting to know you a little better? You are Monsieur <laughs> Louis Moras de Richet. De Richet. De Richet. A name with a nobiliary particle. Are you descended from a noble line? Please, go ahead. I am just a simple French citizen. Really? Oh, you seem nothing like a commoner. Not really, yeah. <laughs> Especially compared to that wretch over there sharing our meal. Please feel at home. Show us your Have you any information on this Napoleon? Yes, I heard the He's French. He's French? <laughs> Certainly not. Maybe Emily has an idea. Mortimer firmly believes in the young soldier. He's going to finance a military campaign with the backing of the Golden Order. It seems that Sarah gave it her blessing too. I didn't know that. Me neither. I'll give Sarah a piece of my mind. I don't know what mess she's gotten herself into, but for God's sake, she should have told us. You knew everything. You could have answered for me. That's true, but you have such a clever way with words. Monsieur de Richet, mm -hmm. it would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? Oh, oh, oh. really bone apart. What do you have to say, Sir Napoleon? Whoa. Um, Lord Mortimer what? and the Golden Order. Who your mother have concluded a financial agreement. Okay. Stay composed, Louis. There's nothing to do with me. I'm listening. <laughs> An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of what? your mother. What? Nobody told you me. You must know that I am deeply sorry about their disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. Not my problem. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Oh, really? Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 louis d'or for 200 cannon. So? Surely such an amount will buy twice as many cannons. Don't try to pull a fast one on me. We're both young, but we are not naive. Please don't be offended. I just wanted to make sure you knew what you were talking about. And I am reassured. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. What? We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Oh, Given the yeah. hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? 
I think what France is lacking today is a truly strong leader ready to govern her. Someone who will restore her luster, who will propel her forward so once again she becomes a proud nation respected by all. Yeah, yeah, a man capable it. of both stroke rebuilding it. the country from the inside and stroke at the same time developing exterior relations. Yes. Someone with a vision, I think. Yes. The right person yes. still remains to be found. Stroke You're it. right, my friend. Oh, I yeah. hear your words and I agree. <laughs> Monsieur de Richer. I am uh. reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I would like to thank you for your support by offering you this humble little gift. Hmm. Reflections on the revolution in France. Mr. Bonaparte, no, I thank you for this gesture and please know that I too yes. am delighted to have met you. No, see. Thank you. My friends, I would like to say a few words, please. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer Lord and Mortimer. you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Yes, yes. Those oh, of us oh, for whom oh. it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us oh, well, has always well, well, look at the benefited the from them. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. Yeah, see? It, it, it I hasn't trust changed. you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Changed. Washington. Even if they're still fighting right. amongst we the shall nations. meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, Big wigs as well all as Lord together. Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. Mm. Yeah, I'll be amused already. Mm. Yeah, I'll be amused. See, what's with the butterflies? What? Monarchs. Haha, <laughs> but I dirty one part. I was able to persuade Lord Ben. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I could have searched Napoleon. Well, I'm not going to search Napoleon's room yet. That's rude. Why search it when he's not there, when he'll just let me in? Okay, we're going to... Really? Yeah, we'll do more brain. Okay, we'll go. There we go. One more. No, I don't like any of these. <clears throat> See, I think there's more opportunity for, especially finding mother and, and yeah, the detective, right? So, one more point. Yeah, we'll put it. Coordination against your surroundings. And I think, okay, well, that might help before too long ago. Because we might have to juke our way out of places. Get the hell out of Dodge. All right, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. Mm. So then what was the new one? Thoughts from the French Revolution. Oops. So it's 
to either this one or that one. Okay. Come on. There, it's equipped, right? Okay. Okay. I, I'm not sure what that is, what, what that's from. So what's with the... What? Is it real or... Get you. Get it. Get it. Get it. Excuse me? What's this? Oh, coin. Oh, half circle shape key, right. right. That's the one from my room. You play the piano? You know how to play the piano? No. La 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 Yeah, we're looking for Medusa, right? Ooh, what? Discourse on the Method by Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. Where is Medusa? Piggy! in this room. Supper. Oh, this is looking more promising. Where all eyes size you up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. Yeah, here we go. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? Allegory regarding the decoration of the rights of men. That's the least you could say. Um, okay. You want me to look at that one? No. Is this Michael? Liberty or Death by Regnaud. Oh, right. Well, right. I'll take liberty, please. But, well, I do understand his choice, even though it seems radical. Ah, a 
painting by Ingres. Moliere, dining with Louis XIV. The king's posture is surprising. It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. Still nine o'clock. Well, you, well, you won't let me look at that one. Fire hot, fire hot, fire hot. Um, excuse me? Celia, that name means nothing to me. What? Nothing to you? I seem to remember seeing that somewhere before. Get up, dummy. We're not done looking yet. Well, we know what everybody knows what this one is. Who doesn't know what Last this supper. one is? By Leonardo da Vinci. Who doesn't know what the that last is? day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. Damn Judas. Damn Judas. Oh, why won't you let me? Just a rip off. Trying to learn some. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe V. I wonder why Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. Or just tacky carpets. Each side had their own. One is by Aunt in the dusk and morning. Polar opposites. Um. Oh, amber. I'll take that. A fragment of amber. The Company by Rembrandt. Careful of the company you keep. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The Song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near. His brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Um, what, what? Why is there a note? Oh, good day. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, we pretty much know what this is. Christ Crucified by Velasquez. <sighs> Look. Someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. A Duke. Ah, Francois Premier, Receiving the Holy Family, a painting by Raphael. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then, yeah, that's, uh, Probably werewolf. Mm. The Fall of Phaeton, another oh, painting oh. by Rubens. Poor okay. Phaeton, struck by lightning for borrowing his father's chariot and losing control of it. Moral, don't steal dad's chariot. Yeah. Leave dad's shit alone. Well, hey. Get out of my way. So. There's back to this again. What? Why would you have multiples? Uh, excuse me? You won't let me look at any of these ones? 
some of these are repeats. I don't know why you'd have doubles of paintings in your house. Ah, put a put, uh, put a pixel over his penis. Put a pixel over his penis. Well, let me look at any of these. Why? What are we doing in here? What am I doing with my life? Oh, 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 really? Really? Well, we found her. We found her. Oh. Is this the big wig himself? A painting with no name. Hmm. A painting with no I name. I bet you that's the big wig himself. Hmm. Well, hmm, hey, what's this box? What's in the box? What's in the box? I don't have a key. All right, 